There's an old army poster that's a recruiting poster that was used by the military. And in this poster, Uncle Sam is pointing menacingly at people in the audience and saying, I want you to volunteer for the U.S. Army with a very mean face. Today, I'm going to use a gentle, simple approach to ask you to volunteer at a nonprofit or a social service agency or a church operation that helps others. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, today I want to share with you a few things. I want to talk about the challenges faced by volunteer organizations, the benefits of belonging to one of those organizations, and the opportunities. I think it's important that we all roll up our sleeves and think about getting involved in a nonprofit organization. Americans have always been known as generous givers. In the 1800s, it was Benjamin Franklin who started the first all-volunteer fire department. In the 1880s, Histor political historian Alex de Tocqueville recognized Americans' penchant for serving others and helping. As of 2018, according to a UN survey of volunteers, um, America was the most volunteer oriented country in the world. I'd like to see a show of hands. Outside of Toastmasters, who of you out there is involved in a nonprofit as a volunteer or a church group or any other type of group? Just raise your hands. Well, I want you to know that you're in the minority because I think it's very good and I give you a hand for that, but you are in the minority. A Stanford University survey done shows that 90% of the people being surveyed said they would like to join a volunteer organization. However, only one in four actually did. That's 25%. Although 90% said they'd like to, only 25% actually did. A U.S. Census survey, along with an AmeriCorps survey, showed that from 2020, the beginning of COVID through 2021, the number of volunteers had dropped to 23.2%. Previously, in 2019, that number was closer to seven, uh, 30%. So we had a 7% drop in volunteers during that time. This is the largest drop in volunteerism we've had in the past 20 years. That's all the math I have for you. And I know Robert can chew on that a little bit because he loves math. So I tell you, that's all the statistics I have. Well, if we have this problem with volunteers and not getting enough volunteers, what are some of the reasons? Some of the reasons we don't have enough volunteers and people don't volunteer is because number one, of course, they don't have time. I'm too busy, I'd like to help, I got the kids, we gotta pick them up from soccer, There's, I have to make dinner, I have to wash the car, whatever it is. I joined a fraternal organization at the behest of a friend one time through my church. And he told me as he was recruiting me, don't let time be a detriment. Don't let time be your excuse, which is what I was going to use, but he told me not to. So I said, okay, and I went ahead. That was 15 years ago, and now I'm a lifetime member of that organization. The second reason people don't volunteer is nobody asked them. Obviously with my friend, it was important that he asked me, and because of that, 
I was able to join this organization. A lot of people say, oh, I have nothing to offer. I, I don't have any skills. But as Kelly always tells us, we have more power in ourselves and we need to build our confidence. In fact, that's what we're doing here in Toastmasters. And finally, there's the I'm not needed. They don't really need me. Well, there again, what you hear in the news all the time that employers can't find people willing to work. Nonprofits have the same problem. Here's some of the benefits of volunteerism. It's been noted that there are health benefits, benefits actually, and this has been measured. Volunteering eases stress. It helps lessen depression. You're involved with other people. You're helping others. You're doing good for the country. You're doing good for the world. The third factor is it reminds us of what we are as human beings, a little bit of good for the soul type of experience. And finally, you can learn new skills through volunteering at a nonprofit. You may not know about a particular thing, but you can work towards it and you can make connections through other people. So there are many, many benefits, as you can see. Now, I'm not going to be like this, with a mean, mean face, telling you that you must volunteer. Obviously, volunteerism is up to an individual thing. So I hope you all consider my gentle ask to become a member of a volunteer organization. Let's go. Madam Toastmaster.